Chapter 9 Application of Integrals Example 9.5 The question Evaluate Integral 0 to 3 3 x square minus 4 x plus 5 dx Evaluate Integral 0 to 3 3x square minus 4x plus 5dx. Evolve this question by second fundamental theorem of integral calculus. Comparing this method to limit formula, second fundamental theorem of integral calculus is easy. The second fundamental theorem of integral calculus is The small f of x is a continuous function, continuous function on the closed interval a comma b and capital f of x is a and derivative of a small f of x then integral f of x dx the integral limit over a to b f of x dx is equal to capital F of B minus F of A. This is a second fundamental theorem of integral calculus. Comparing this method to limit formula, the second fundamental theorem of integral calculus is very easy to evolve with the question. 0 to 3, 3x square minus 4x plus 5dx. Start the solution. Let our question is equal to i the 0 to 3 3 x square minus 4 x plus 5 dx separate the integral first separate the integral first for each term put integral sign 3 x square dx minus 0 to 3 4 x dx plus integral 0 to 3 5 dx take the constant term outside the integral from the each term therefore 3 0 to 3 x square dx minus 4 outside integral 0 to 3 x dx 5 is outside integral 0 to 3 1 into dx now apply the integral formula so 3 x square is x cube by 3 the limit over 0 to 3 minus 4 that x is x square by 2 0 to 3 plus 5 1 into dx is x 0 to 3 here the applied formula is here the applied formula is integral x to the power n dx is equal to x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1. So 3, 3 get cancelled. So 2, 2 is a 4. Now apply the upper limit and the lower limit. First apply the upper limit. That is 3 cube is 27 minus 0 cube is 0 minus the, so 2 here. So 3 square is 9 minus lower limit 0 plus 5. The upper limit is 3 and the lower is 0. So 27 minus 2 into 9 minus 18 and 5 into 3 is plus 15. Simplifying these three terms we get plus 24. This is the integral value that is integral 0 to 3. 3x square minus 4x plus 5 dx is equal to 24. This is the answer for the example number 9.5. Therefore, example number 9.5 over. Now we move to example number 9.6. Example 9.6. The question is evaluate. 
the whole weight integral 0 to 1 2x plus 7 by 5x square plus 9 dx. This question is also solved by second fundamental theorem of integral calculus. So first let our question is i i is equal to integral 0 to 1 2x plus 7 by 5x square plus 9 dx. Separate this term as a two terms that is 0 to 1 2x by is 2x by 2x by 5x square plus 9 this is a one term and 7 by 5x square plus 9 that is a second term 2x by 5x square plus 9 dx plus integral 0 to 1 7 dx by 5 x square plus 9. We denote these terms as i1 plus i2. First do the calculation for the term i1. 0 to 1 2x dx by 5 x square plus 9. The derivative of the, this denominator is the derivative of the denominator is 10x, 10x plus 0. Comparing this term with the 2x, 2x, this number is multiplied with 5, we get 10x. Therefore, multiplied and divided by 5 in x line. So, the multiplied term is inside the integral set so 10x, the divided term is outside the integral sign. So, 10x dx by 5x square plus 9 dx. Therefore, the integral of this term is, is now the derivative of the denominator is 10x plus 0. Therefore, its, its integral is therefore its integral is log of denominator. So, log 5x square plus 9. The integral limit over 0 to 1. Now apply the upper limit and the lower limit. So log of, so the 1 is substitute here 5 plus 9 log 14 minus 0 is substitute here we get log 9. So according to the logarithmic rule, so we know that we know that log a minus log b is equal to log of a by b. Therefore, 1 by 5 log 14 by 9. This is the answer for the term I1. So, I1 answer is 1 by 5 log 14 by 9. Now, we move to the calculation to calculate the term I2. I2. So, our I2 is equal to integral 0 to 1 7 dx by 5 x square plus 9. So first the 7 is take outside the integral sign so 0 to 1 dx by and these two terms take 5 as a common so x square plus this term becomes 9 by 5. This 5 also take outside in outside that is 7 by 5 0 to 1 dx x square this term can write 3 by root 5 the whole square this is equal to this is equal to now recall one formula in integral that is integral dx by x square plus a square is equal to 1 by a tan inverse x by a x by a apply this formula here we get our a term is 3 by root 5 so 1 by 3 by root 5 this is a a 1 by 3 by root 5 this is 1 by a tan inverse x by a that is 3 by root 5 that is equal to 7 by 5 into 
root 5 by 3 tan inverse tan inverse x by 3 by root 5 here the limit is over 0 to 1 0 to 1 this 5 can write root 5 into root 5. 1 root 5, root 5 get cancelled. The remaining term is 7 by 3 root 5. So now apply the upper limit first. It is tan inverse 1 by 1 by 3 by root 5 minus minus tan inverse 0. This is equal to 7 by 3 root 5. So tan inverse root 5 by 3. This term value is 0. There is no need to write. It is 7 by 3 root 5 tan inverse root 5 by 3. This is the answer for the term I2. This is the simplified answer for the term I2. Now write the answer for the given question that is i is equal to i1 plus i2. Our i1 answer is 1 by 5 log 14 by 9 plus i2. Our i2 is this answer. So write here 7 by 3 root 5 tan inverse root 5 by 3. This is the answer for the given question. Therefore, example number 9.6 over here. 9.6 over. Thank you.